Turmeric. Turmeric is considered to be one of the best medicated herbs, which is quite warming as well. It is helpful in regulating menstruation and balancing hormones. The antipasmodic and anti-inflammatory properties relieve menstrual pain. Consume one quarter teaspoon of turmeric with milk, honey, or gajari. Just boil 200 gram of fresh milk or if you don't have fresh milk, two tablespoons of powdered milk, and then one spoon of sugar, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. You can buy it in grocery, supermarket. You can also use luyang dilaw or yellow ginger. And then boil it, just boil it for about two to three minutes in a high fire, and then strain it. Put it in your mag and drink it. You can drink it two times a day, morning and evening. Empty stomach. That is good for your PCOS or myoma. Since we already know that apple cider vinegar improves insulin sensitivity and aids in regulating blood sugar levels, it makes sense it could be helpful for women with PCOS. Adding one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar a day to the diet may improve PCOS symptoms. Fill the glass with ordinary water. Water should not be very cold or very hot. Use apple cider vinegar with the mother with label raw unfiltered. Shake it. Put one tablespoon of cider vinegar and half tablespoon of lemon juice or calamansi juice. Put half tablespoon of honey. Add one four teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Aloe vera juice. All the toxins we consume is stored in our bowel and drinking aloe juice helps to remove toxins and clean the digestive tract, which is important if you are suffering from PCOS. You can take aloe juice the first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Does aloe vera increase estrogen? Given these findings, the aloe vera sap may have favorable effects on estrogen synthesis due to its phytoestrogen components such as beta cytosterol and can increase the estrogen level. I pluck aloe vera plant from our garden and get a gel of it. I'm going to eat it raw to help balance my hormones. You can tap it in your sherbet or any juice, mango juice, orange juice, grape juice. Actually, it has no taste if you mix it with other juices and it helps to balance the hormones. The diuretic property of paragis increases the amount of water in your body, flushing out toxins and expelling the salt content through urine. If you have ovarian cysts and myoma, drink a void paragus tea in the morning and before bedtime to dissolve ovarian cysts and myoma. This is how to make fresh paragus tea. Cut paragus grass including roots. Wash properly till water become clean. Put liters of water, boil it for 10 minutes in medium fire. Make sure all grass soak in water while boiling, then put it in the thermos. Drink 2 to 3 glass a day, empty stomach. Do not drink if you have period, if you are anemic, and if you are pregnant. Seed cycling is a growing trend claimed to balance hormones, boost fertility, and ease symptoms of menopause. It involves eating flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, and sunflower seeds at different times of the month to balance certain hormones. 
Its purported health benefits include helping regulate periods, reducing acne, treating polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS, endometriosis, and infertility and easing symptoms of menopause, such as hot lashes, night sweats, fatigue, and mood swings. Some online sources also assert that it can improve thyroid hormone levels, hair health, weight loss, water retention, and cellulite. The most common method instructs women to eat one tablespoon each of freshly ground black seeds and pumpkin seeds per day for the first 13 to 14 days of their menstrual cycle, which is known as the follicular phase. During the second half of the cycle, which is known as the luteal phase, seed cyclers eat one tablespoon each of ground sunflower seed and sesame seeds per day until the first day of their next period when their cycle starts again. Put 6 pieces of cut bananas over 1 cup or 200 grams of cards or yogurt. Mix it carefully enough to cover the bananas with curds. Now add one piece of cut mango. You can also add apple, peaches, and seedless grapes. Just mix it carefully enough to cover the mango with curds. Ready the basil seeds in a separate small cup. Put 3 teaspoons of basil seeds into small cup. You can also use chia seeds and ground flax seeds. Put water enough to dip the seeds. After 3 minutes, the seed becomes soft and sticky. Now add the dipped basil seeds into fruit mixture. Now add 2 to 3 tablespoons of sugar. You can also use honey. Mix it properly and carefully, enough to combine all ingredients. Put in refrigerator till become cold. Let's taste. It's very nice, very, very nice. You try it and it's very good for your health also. This is how to lose sesame seeds. You can buy sesame seeds in supermarket. Wash the sesame seeds before toasting. Remove the dirt floating on the water. Strain it. Any dust and stones will sink to the bottom through the strainer. Seeds are clean but the bath water is dirty. So it's important to wash the sesame seeds. Wash again under the running water. until the water straining through is clear. Put the frying pan in the stove, medium-high fire. Put the sesame seeds over the pan. Just mix it so they won't stick together. The sesame seeds become brown after 10 minutes and they are starting to pop little by little and lower the, lower the fire. Now the seeds are starting to pop. Just continue mixing to avoid burn. 
Get some seeds and pinch if you feel the crunch. Just continue mixing till all the seeds become crunchy. Put it in the jars with tight cover. Eat 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds in empty stomach when you feel your delay. It helps to balance your home. 